Hey YouTube, Brittany with Tiki Exotics again. I'm going to show you today how we set up egg crates. So I use Hatchrite, but really in all reality, there's a million and one things you can use. I know some people that just put rocks at the bottom and then just this egg crate. Um, you can get them at like Home Depot and stuff that are lows there. Uh, and they're like in like the light section, they were used as like a light diffuser, I think. So these things also are for when I've had eggs that were kind of trying to roll all over the place, so it would help hold them in place. It's just toothpicks wrapped in tape, electrical tape. So what I usually do is I get this a little moist. This has been sitting there for months, so keep in mind this has actually probably been over a year. This one hasn't been used. So I get just a little damp. You don't want it soaking, but you don't want it too dry either. And now we're going to remove this girl from her eggs. She's a very good first time mama. So, excuse my dog barking. There's someone with a motorcycle being very loud outside. So what I typically do is just very gently get underneath of her here. And then we're just gonna lift her straight up. So we have four eggs. And of course, she doesn't want to give them up, which is understandable. She's being a good mommy. Come on, sweet girl. Just very gently. There we go. And then I'm going to put her in a little holding cage. I have it's empty right now, just so that I can take her out or take the eggs out without upsetting her too much. She's not gonna be thrilled, but so you may hear her hissing. But she's being pretty good about it, so we got four beautiful good looking eggs here. And then it's as simple as putting them in here. Now what some people do, and what I sometimes do as well, is separate some of these, especially like this one here. Now if they're really, really attached, you can actually go in with some egg yolk like from like a chicken's egg and take a little bit of like dental floss and just kind of saw them between there. I found that sometimes I can just pull them apart usually if, if it's early on or if they're not attached very much like this one. These ones I'm actually just going to leave alone though because eh, actually this one I changed my mind. Now some people very very leery about doing what I'm doing right now and I don't blame them. I've done it many a times without issue. I just very, very gently go through here and separate these. You don't want to get a tear in the egg though. So I'm making sure we're not doing is don't want any tearing. You can see currently it's okay. If we actually got a tear, you can actually put maybe like some tape or something else. And I've seen some that just sit there open and they don't have any issues as well. So make sure we're not tearing anything here. The tiniest little area looks like it could be trying to tear, so I'm gonna get my scissors. My razor and just cut that apart. Just because I do not want that tearing. There we go. Make sure it didn't actually tear. It did not. That's good. And then that way, now this would be the kind of one that I've had roll around a bit before. So. I'm just going to put these here just to keep this little one nice and stable. This way it just kind of helps prevent them from rolling around a little bit if you're picking up and moving it. But that's all there really is to it. Other than obviously putting it in the incubator. Now my incubator is a broken Rockstar drink refrigerator that I got from someone. They were 
I think selling it for like 20 bucks online. So a lot of times you can find broken refrigerators like this and then you can just wire them up with heat tape and of course have it hooked to a thermostat and don't mind those, those are for the mice and stuff, but just have it hooked up to a herp stat so that way it stays at the exact right temperature. And that's all there is to it.